Hey everyone, so welcome back to another video and today this is not a tutorial it is just an overview of uh, overview and review of this new hosting I bought last week so um, I bought from a uh, hosting from Hostinger you must have seen their ads um, they are a very popular company and they have been um, in this hosting business for a while so um, I, bought, I have bought the starting package you can see um, how to buy and um, set up WordPress if you want to watch that you can watch my other video so let's get back to the today's topic so what I will today um, show you is I will show you the performance of my two websites hosted on this um, hosting uh, hosting so this is my uh, main website and this is a experiment website I'm um, just I do uh, for creating staging and um, demo so I use uh, this website for that stuff so I will show you the page speed scores and um, how I achieve this results and um, this is the most cheapest package of they offer so I will teach you um, in my other videos if you are interested I can teach you how you can achieve this um, speed test results awesome speed test results from their cheapest package and um, and for this I'm not using any paid CDN and only using Cloudflare so and um, if you notice that um, the percent uh, of cash is um, by Cloudflare is 68 up to um, 100 percent 100 percent 100 percent 99 93 percent this um, these stats are for 24 hours um, if you check the stat for last seven days you can see um, this is the stats when I was doing all the experiments and stuff so in the development mode the cash was well, the cash percentage was quite low but um, after configuring it you can see the results I have managed to achieve is 93.7 percent of cash and um, you know uh, and you can see it's all it's almost 94 percent so almost 94 percent requests were served directly from the Cloudflare and were not even sent to the server so that saves a lot of resource and um, you can the website always remains fast for every visitors from any location they are um, wherever they are in Asia Europe or US um, your website will load very quickly and um, without um, straining your server resources so let's um, first I will um, give you an overview of this hosting and uh, before buying this I was quite skeptical about this company because um, the first thing is they do not offer the traditional cPanel with the shared hosting so and um, the other panels I tried but well nothing could be cPanel so and I had heard some bad reviews about them so that um, so I was quite skeptical but um, since I create reviews for you so you don't have to um, test them so I decided to test the service finally and bought the starting package um, you can watch uh, all the details in my other video I have already uh, published it you can find the link in the description so um, their hosting panel looks like this and um, you can see this the main domain and if you click on manage and I must say the whole process of signing up and setting up the website was quite smooth with Hostinger and so far I have not tested the service for a long time but um, uh, for a week um, I think um, this has performed quite well and you can see the disk usage is at 3% only and um, the process is, uh, the number of files um, I'm using only 3% of my quota so um, it is quite good and still I can install a lot of website um, a few a few more websites without um, crashing the server and um, this is the basic panel and even with this two large sites um, sorry not large they are not large but um, okay decent site and these are WordPress sites so and this um, this is a very big webs um, large page website this page is quite large um, you can see it is, it is quite long and um, has a lot of media and um, pictures and everything going on I will reload it and show you the loading time you can see it just loads instantly and um, you can check any other pages also loading time is quite good 
can see for yourself and um, I will show you the sky options okay because I was logged in so there's an in incognito mode so there might be a little problem with the uh, um, ad blocker and stuff so basically you can see the loading time is quite um, good and um, so let's get back to the home page and um, you can see this and um, similarly this website I'll show you by reloading it um, the page uh, post loading time these are quite small posts so um, without any images so um, it is loading um, quite fast but um, even other posts which have some images I will show you all them also this contains a story post and um, <coughs> let's go <coughs> sorry so let's um this post contains some images so you can see um the loading time is quite fast and um, there is no lag and everything is loading quite smoothly and this both this website are uh, uh, i can host them on the cheapest plan so that's awesome so um if you have a just a kind of a static website um for clients and um to showcase something and it's not uh, it doesn't receive a lot of traffic so you can use this option but um if you have a like an e-commerce store or something I, I would still suggest you to go with the premium quality hosting which um, you can find the link in the description so but if you're on a budget well you can give this hosting a try and um, this company has been um, online for a while and um, you know they also used to offer the free hosting um, for a lot of years if you rem anyone remembers um triple zero web host um, it was their brand so they have um, done a comeback and um, and you can see the pros are they offer servers at they have servers at multiple locations so that's a quite a big advantage so um, you can pick the server which is closer to your audience and um, for, for example if your audience is in Europe yeah, they can find the Netherlands and I think in Lithuania and there is one in, in for Asia uh, there's server in Singapore and there's in US so there are multiple locations which I really liked and um, in my first video WordPress installation I've showed all the locations also so um, this is why I think this company um, and their obviously their price is obviously best and um, if you want the best thing um, just check the link in the description um, okay so but uh, okay so now I will show you the paid speed test results and this is the Google um, Google's own website result so first let's test this website and I have already tested this so um, if you still want I will click on the retest and um, I will just um, keep it like this because um, this test takes a while so I don't want to redo it right now you can see the speed test results and this was just done a few hours before this um, video recording you can see the date here um, today's date and time when uh, this test was conducted and see the results here okay so let's wait a few seconds for the results and here you can see on mobile well this doesn't score a uh, very good get this doesn't get a very good score because uh, as I told you there are a lot of things on this uh, web page and um, Google has um, weird but on desktop you will see that um, it has 97 score so this is quite good and um, I will show you some other pages of this website which um, which are not so big so um, you can I will also show you the results of this page so let's see okay so this test has been completed GT metrics I prefer this um, two website results much better than the Google paid speed because um, this get gives a lot more useful information and practical suggestions unlike Google paid speed which um, which is really just has um, unrealistic expectations so you can see um, on desktop I'm still getting good score and on mobile uh, mobile that's um, not so good because um, Google doesn't like um, but you, you you have to compromise on the design and I do not want it to do that so but uh, see so, and uh, my other website which um, doesn't have a lot of stuff going on so on mobile 
this um, also gets a good score I'll show you that so on the GT metrics test you can see um, the loading time total loading time was 2.7 seconds only and the performance score is AA 96-95% and on web page test um, the web vitals test are receiving great results so you can see this is um, I'm able to achieve with all this with the combination of some caching plugins and uh, Cloudflare. So if you're interested um, and you buy a hosting from my affiliate link, you can ping me and um, email, email me about it um, to improve your website performance. So, you know, just before buying anything, um, just contact me and um, uh, show me what um, give your requirements what is your website about and um, what kind of results you have so i will help you in improving its performance okay so now let's you can see this website um this is the home page and um it is quite uh, long and uh, quite it has a lot of images and stuff so and um, it is set to lo lazy load and you can see its score even on mobile it is 96 percent and um, you can see it just loaded instantly in the pictures here and um, almost perfect score and on desktop also it has 96 percent score um, 96 score so that's the results i'm telling you okay and um if i compare it with my um, other website let's see okay so basically when the until the test gets complete um let's Um, I will show you the overview of the hosting panel. So this is um, it's easy to if you want to go to the WordPress this will show you the functions of all related to WordPress and um, from here you will be able to manage some stuff like plugins and um, other stuff but I prefer to do it from the WordPress dashboard and for that you have you can um, just here you will see this option of forcing HTTPS plus uh, flush cache maintenance mode um, speed and security and stuff so and for cloudflare you don't have to pay this um, just ping uh, email me and i will tell you how to set up set it up for free and if you want to install wordpress um, you will get an option here to install it um, and again you can install wordpress just by clicking here and um, this will take you to the auto installer and it's just a few clicks you can select the application you want to install there are multiple not just wordpress so whatever you prefer and you can see my existing two installations here and um, if you want to again install wordpress just select it and then select which directory um, you want to install in and you can again install the uh, wordpress but i have already installed so i will not reinstall it and let's go back to the dashboard and um, here you will see all the functions you can manage with plugins but as I said, I prefer to do it from the WordPress admin dashboard only. And to log in, you can click on this option, edit website. And this will take you to redirect you automatically to the uh, admin panel of your WordPress. So, okay, I will have to log in. Um, okay, I'll just do it later. And um, so now let's go back again to the hosting panel and uh, okay from here you can see the order usage so this will show you the 24 hours um, last 24 hours order um, usage order so you can see um, I'm not using a lot of CPU even despite um, hosting two websites on it and the memory consumption is way below my um, the allowed limit and some um, cons of this hosting is um, there's not a lot of memory available so some plugins um, that requires a lot of memory like backup plugins may not work properly so I just wanted to be clear about this but um, you can find um, alternatives and um, if you buy with my affiliate link I would be um, glad to help you out directly so this is the process as you can see all the this is the you can see the red line this is the allowed limit and you can see my usage is well below the limit because i'm using um, very efficient caching policies and cloudflare so basically this you can see, you saw that almost 100 percent requests were just um, served from cloudflare 
none of the requests were even um, hitting my server so this is how I am able to um, host those two websites and manage all the limited resources available to me so efficiently and um, okay so this is how you can do it too and um, okay so let's go and then there are other options available domain um, I will just give you a quick overview now you can see the renew option upgrade um, set domain you can change the hosting plan from here and um, if you want to change the main domain name you can do it from here and um, this panel is very easy to use and um, I think it's even better e easier to use than cPanel to be honest so you can see it's um, all the details are all the icons are pretty self-explanatory and um, here you can manage all the email stuff um, domain settings, um, auto installer, import website, error pages, uh, file manager, backup, FTP accounts. Um, okay, so yeah, database and advanced stuff, and they're all the functions you get in um, cPanel or any other panel, and um, you get most of the stuff here. And it's pretty easy to manage and set up and run things. So, um, uh, the interesting things um, I want to tell you about is that you can also up select which PHP version you want to use on your website so that's you can do it from here too and um, and I think um, okay this is uh, pretty much everything you will need um, and then let's uh, also has a free SSL so that's very important some um, hosting companies are not offering free SSL so um, this offers you the standard let's encrypt SSL so now let's go back to the test results and you can um, so in the GT metrics you can see the comparison here um, it was 96 and my main website because it doesn't have a lot of fancy stuff going on you can see it's getting 100% score and um, the loading time is also less and uh, you can see here the page um, page size is quite less the request is less so basically you can see both even the website this which has a lot of fancy stuff going on as um, I'm able to achieve quite decent page speed score and page loading time which uh, the real loading time which actually matters Google also use now use the real loading time metrics uh, from if you use the analytics on your page um, they can um, get the scores and um, you can see if you um, do apply it like it loads instantly so that's um, what really matters and um, on everything you on the web page test also this website gets um, a full um, full score because um, it doesn't have a lot of stuff going on so you can see this is um, this is I have achieved that um, the caching plugin and Cloudflare so um, if you are interested in improving performance of your website um, you can contact me and um, I'll uh, tell me uh, details about your current hosting and um, how many visitors you want so and um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful and um, if you were looking to buy a new budget hosting and um, you may try this um, I think this is a good option but still I have not used them for very long so um, this is just an initial review and a um, few weeks later I may do another review to show um, like how this um, have performed um, over the time so I will see you in the next video